Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and the month of October is coming to an end, meaning we get to reflect on 10 of our favorite iOS apps to hit the App Store during the month. Without wasting any of your time, let's get started. The first app we have is called Hawkeye Access, and it uses the true depth cameras on the newer iPhones to track your eye movements and let you browse the web using only your eyes. Yes, it's that freaking cool. Now, it's not a perfect application and it's probably one of those apps you test out and you never use again, but it shows that someday in the not too distant future, we may be using our eyes to navigate our smartphones. You can set it so that a blink or stare registers as a click and you can look at different parts of the screen to go back and open up various menus. Zodiac Daily Horoscope is a pretty cool app that provides accurate astrological forecasts based on your zodiac sign. Say what you will about zodiac signs, they're certainly not for everyone, but if you like to read into them, you should check out Zodiac. It's a well-designed app offering daily, weekly, and monthly horoscopes. Aries is supposedly very career motivated, so I like to occasionally read my horoscope to get more motivated. Everyone is different, you might like this app. Shump is an arcade platformer where you play as a pixelated creature whose goal it is to ascend as high as you can and defeat bosses and dodge bullets and bombs. There are a total of six levels, 20 enemies, and 14 bosses. It's a new game, but it definitely has an older feel to it. Adobe Premiere Rush CC, or Creative Cloud, made it on the list for all of you multimedia producers out there who want to be able to edit on the go. The app will let you edit audio and video in a similar manner to the desktop application Premiere Pro, which I used to edit this video. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time going over the features, but there's quite a bit of them, and the free version does allow three exports. Cove is a musical journal where instead of writing down your feelings, you create music to help express them. The app is designed to help you with your emotional and mental health. There are 30 different instruments to play around with, with a simple tap and swipe based controls. You have your bass chords, your melody and percussion. I think this is a really neat take on the traditional journal app. Now, every now and then I like to include a game on the list with cartoony graphics and no originality. Today, that game is called Golf Battle and it's a multiplayer mini golf game where you try and put the golf ball in the hole. I know, crazy, right? This game is somewhat unique in that you can play against real people from around the world, but at the end of the day, it's just mini golf. The reason it's on the list though is because it's good fun. There's something satisfying about putting a ball in a hole, and when you can beat other real players, it's all the more fun. Focus is a speed reading app that helps you read and comprehend better. It's believed that when you read one word at a time, you can not only read faster, but comprehend content better too. And this app does just that. You can upload documents to the app to be converted to this speed reading format, or you can navigate to web pages or paste URLs to articles so that they can be converted and read in this format. The app also lets you customize the theme and the speed at which the words are displayed. Check this app out if you're an avid reader, you might just like it. Filterius is a photo editing app that offers a ton of neat vintage filters that can enhance the look and feel of your photos. The filters are meant to depict the 90s. It can easily be added to a photo with a simple tap. There are different effects to mess around with, and when you're done, you can export the photo and share it wherever you'd like. Now, when I first started producing YouTube videos, my YouTube channel was called How To And More. I made how-to videos about all sorts of things back before they were a thing. Well, at least there were way less how-to tutorial videos than there are now. The app Jump Rope makes it easy for you to not only discover how-to videos and tutorials, but to make your own and share them with others on the site. I understand that YouTube will provide you access to a bigger audience, but this has a small community that might be good to help you get started and discovered. The app is well-developed, incorporating video with text in an easy-to-read and navigate UI. Check it out if you're at all interested. The last app we have for you today is called Pivot Pop, and it's a game of skill and endurance. The goal is to pop the matching colors to earn points and pops, all while avoiding the opposite colors. The controls are simple and just involve some simple taps. There are over 100 levels, so you should be entertained and challenged for a long time. Warning, this game is really freaking hard. 
With that last one, those are 10 of our favorite iOS apps to hit the App Store during the month of October 2018. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new, and let us know which app is your favorite in a comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.